So we've learned quite a bit at this point, and I want to show you just a few more things before we wrap up. I want to talk about this concept of short codes. So WordPress has this feature built in, and I'm just going to search it. So WordPress short code. And if you go here, short codes allow us to kind of have simple functionality within our admin section, within our posts. So when I'm editing a post or when I'm editing a page and I want to kind of inject some uh, kind of, you know, added functionality really easily, uh, I can use a short code to do it. And a short code looks something like this right here, where you'd have this bracket notation. And then inside of it, you might have some text or some code. And then it'll render out into something. In this case, this might render out into an image gallery. Um, you can have you know all kinds of different functionality. So we're going to learn how to do that. And this is especially good when you have clients or you have customers who aren't familiar with HTML but are using the editor and want to have some powerful features without having to write some actual HTML code. They can just write something like this if you tell them, you know, kind of, put gallery inside of square brackets and write something like that and they'll get an image gallery. So we're going to apply that now and learn how to create these so that we can create our own custom short codes. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is head over to our site. I'm going to open up WP content and then I'm going to open up themes and then custom theme. And I'm going to click Run Project just so that we can see the state of it. And then I'm going to grab this URL down here, and I'm going to hit Open. Now, what I want to do is come up with a short code so that we can have kind of a three-column layout really easily on this site. So for our homepage, we'll kind of assume this is our homepage, and we'll have a three-column layout where there will be some text kind of occupying that much width, then some more text occupying that much width, and then some more here. So a three column layout will make that super easy for our customers or our clients or whoever's editing our WordPress site to do. First thing I'm gonna do is go into the admin section. So if you're logged out, what you'll wanna do is go up to your URL here and add forward slash WP dash admin. Okay. I'm gonna log in with my admin credentials. And then from here, I could go to Pages. And what I'm going to do is create a separate page for our home page. I'm going to go over here and say Add New. And we'll just call it Home. And then we'll have our home page content in here. So we're going to have three paragraphs, we'll say. So Paragraph 1, Paragraph 2, and Paragraph 3. And we'll fill it out with some dummy lorem ipsum text when we're ready. So I'm going to publish that, and then I'm going to go ahead and just view it right now. So what I want is that main callout, first of all, on this home page, and then I want our paragraphs to show one at a time. So let's work on that. So I think one of the easiest ways to do this is to create a separate page template just for our home page. Now, WordPress says there's a few ways you can create a home page template. If you look in their documentation, you can look up WordPress home or WordPress homepage, maybe search that in Google. And you'll see there's this link where it says creating a static front page. And so they give you a few ways you can do that. You can create a page called home.php. You can also create a document called front-page.php, as you're seeing here. So you can kind of read about that if you want to do that. But what we're going to do is create a page template, just like we did with Page Slim. We're going to create a separate page template and use that as our home page so that we can kind of use the admin section, this editor here, where we created this home page. We can now use this as our editor for our home page. And we can always come back here and kind of change out the content. So it'll be a more dynamic home page as opposed to a static approach. That means something that we'd have to actually go into the files and hard code. Okay, so you'll see what I mean. Just kind of follow along. What I'm going to do is copy all of this here, and I'm going to paste it 
into a separate file. So I'm going to copy all of this. I'm going to select all of it and then go over here, right click on my theme folder and I'll say new file. And then we have to spell this out exactly like this. I'm going to say page-home.php and then hit enter. Now I'm going to double click that file and paste everything in here. And there's one thing we need to change. We need to go up here and we just need to change this to say this is going to be the home page template. So let's save that. Make sure you save your file. Go back over to the admin section and I'm on my home page now. Remember you're in the pages section here. So you want to go to home. And then over here to the right now we have this page attribute section. You can change the template. Now there should be this home page option that wasn't there before until we added that file page-home.php. Okay, so I click that and update it. And then let's go ahead and just view this page. I'm gonna right click and say open link in new tab. So I have it in a separate tab. And there we go. This is using the slim template. So we'll kind of fix that up and kind of change things out. But at least now we have a starting place to start editing our homepage template.